Hey everybody, I'm Master Rolfless. Let's go ahead and play more Planet Annihilation Gamma. Huh. Same as the last game, I have a shit ton of metal. And I'm on the northern side of the planet. Well, you know what? That's interesting. Hopefully, we don't get butt-fucked like last time in the last game, and then have the game continue for about, I don't know, 40 extra minutes more than it should. It's so crazy, oh god. That, that, that entire game, I just want to forget about it, but I can't forget about it, because now it's etched into my mind, and it's unfortunately etched into the YouTube channel's mind. But that's okay. That is definitely a-okay. So we have eight players, and one planet that's really about it to be honest though one planet um a giant moon with a bunch of mexes and eight players is pretty good to minimize the amount of lag that you could take because forests in planetary annihilation do kind of slow down the game a little bit and also if i put extra planets then people will try to get it to orbital space as soon as they can and get to the second planet and try to do a plant smash or make a moon base that's really how kind of common Orbital Doctrine goes in Planetary Annihilation, which really does suck for the most part, like how people try to go for moon bases really, really fast. And also on top of this, there's the occasional sort of um, lag that happens between multiple planets, which kind of sucks. I mean, for the most part, I make the maps I do because I want to have a pretty good stellar experience with Planetary Annihilation. In terms of minimizing the lag, of course. There are other things I could do, but you know what? I feel like this is the best. I do want to have 10 player free falls again, though, because those were always fun. And you know what? 40 player free falls are going to be badass, albeit pretty damn laggy. In fact, not even pretty damn laggy. They will be laggy. Like, I mean, holy moly. It's going to be insane. The first 40 player matches are going to be unplayable, but you know what? After they institute a few patches, they'll be playable, which is pretty darn awesome. I mean, that's usually how it goes, right? They fuck up in when they're introducing a, a mechanic, and then afterwards, after a few patches of ironing it out, it turns out to be amazing. I mean, if my experience with League of Legends goes, that's kind of how it goes down. Things don't say OP for long, and things don't say broken for long. Ooh, God bless. Spy plane didn't see me. So we might have to fight off against purple early on in the game. Which ain't exactly a good thing. At least purple isn't commanding other players what to do. Okay, let's go ahead and get that, tier, uh, that vehicle factory out. And then afterwards we'll get out another power plant. In fact, we'll get two power plants kind of solidify our energy production right now we have a good amount of bots so if we face off against any early aggression we can I guess destroy it which is pretty darn awesome and also the ants should enable us to essentially increase that a little bit more Ooh, yellow hello there so yellow's right over there interesting interesting Well, if he's over there, that means his base should be close by. Which means I should set up a radar. As long as I'm continuing my factory production as well as my power plant production, it should be fine. And not overexpanding, of course. Okay, radar, radar, tell me what you see. You see nothing because you have no energy. Probably go ahead and continue building up power plants, but I do want to also increase my production. I, I, ooh, hello there, friend. How are you today? How are you today, friend? Increasing power production, increasing production in general is always going to be a concern. As I don't want to overproduce power plants, but I also, want, also don't want to overproduce factories. Bot rush. It's called rush now. 
I mean, I, I always thought bot spam was kind of like the thing. No offense, but I mean, like, if you're not expecting bots in this game, you're kind of a little bit of a tard. Just saying. There's orange. Orange doesn't know where I am. Purple knows where I am. So, worrying about purple is a little bit more important. There's black. Hmm. Okay, our eco is doing pretty damn well so far. Just need to produce more p factories. Again, the best thing that we can do right now is get out more factories. Also, some, getting some radar is pretty good as well. Just give my guys to get us that we don't exactly get too butt fucked by anybody. So far, the Empire of Black is the scariest thing right next door, but it's not exactly impossible to deal with. Need to go ahead and build more fabricators. Oh, white wants a piece of me now. This is wonderful. Wonderbar. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and get out under the radar over here. And these fabricators that are coming off the line right about now can help my commander produce more factories. I'm going to build three factories and then probably switch on over to tier two. Hmm, that would be purple's bombers. Interesting. What are they doing? That would be blue. Pretty good stuff. Yeah, we're, we're going to tier two pretty soon. Your ass is grass, pretty darn good. Why is white continuously scouting me out? That's weird. Is he right next door or something? I don't even know. All I know is that I have to pay attention to the movements from not only white, but a bunch of other players. Okay, he is definitely above me. White is constantly scouting me out. So he must think, oh, this guy's my next door neighbor. I have to scout him over and over and over again. And that's all fine, but this now puts me on edge. Go ahead and get some fabrication vehicles. Oh, wait a minute. He's not over there. Really? That's weird. What are you guys doing? Hmm. People have a ton of spy planes just scouting about. Alright, now let's go ahead and get the tier 2 up. And while these fabricators go on energy plant production. First and foremost, however, time to get some spy planes of my own. So power is going to be an issue, and especially since now I'm getting some tier 2 out, I am draining fuck tons of power. But, it's all par for the course. It's all par for the course. Alright, so now we're going to scout out white and see what's up. Okay, so far I think the best option right now is to attack blue. Blue or orange, simply because... I believe as though white is currently not in any position to attack me. Ooh, actually. Hmm, blue not, might not be as well. It might be, be uh, safe to say that attacking orange is actually the best option. Or I'm just going to keep my forces down south, see what happens. That's also another option. These are all pretty good plans. 
And by messing my fabricators over here, I'm able to build up power plants really, really fast. Hmm, I would love to expand down south, but I really don't want to. Seeing as though there is the trouble with orange. Then again, I guess it would be good to claim these now rather than later. And I'm going to go ahead and scout them out with spy planes. Okay, T2 vehicles are almost completed. Let me see what's up. Hmm, that's a lot of units. I can definitely destroy him. But I would feel a little bit more comfortable if I had a tier 2 of my own. Let me go ahead and scout this guy again one more time. Alright. You know what? We can actually go ahead and attack him. Mess up my guys into a little ball. Wait for the ants. Yeah, there we go. There we go. And now because I have them on two separate control groups, I can maintain the speed of the doxes with the power of the ants. Good. We're still getting that tier two. You are a purple painted target. <laughs> uh, we're purple. It's pretty much all ogre for orange at this point. Hmm. Interesting. What's going over there? What happened to my rally point? Really? Rally point went over there. That's strange. Now this is exactly what I was talking about. You attacking your opponent and then afterwards another player just attacks you while you have no forces. This is exactly what I'm talking about. You open yourself up to attack like this. Now orange is a ton of units so I mean this is going to be a little bit hard to actually do. But we could destroy his base eventually. If we just take out the production. Okay. Now, stop the spy plane production. Let's get to the hummingbird production. I'm not going to put them on area patrol because I don't want the game to lag. It's a shame that the game lagging is caused by area patrol. He's using his bombers against my doxes. That's always not a good idea. Especially since I've reached a critical mass of doxes. Oh, no wonder why purple's a painted target. You're right next to orange's base. By taking out the tier 2, he has no choice of winning at this point. Well, no chance of winning. And we're actually floating a lot of resources. That's pretty bad. So I'm going to go ahead and ramp up military production. I'm also going to stop tier 2 power plant production and go down south and just continue tier 1 power plant production. Now orange is right now a nomad, which for all intents and purposes doesn't really bother me at all. 
Yep, there we go. What does bother me is the, the white army. Should be coming its way pretty soon to a theater near you, which isn't exactly something that I want to see. Doesn't look like it's getting a lot of buzz at the box office, but you know what? Seems like it's a popular movie for the kids. Kind of like Ice Age. Those terrible sequels that's created from that horrible trash heap. Ooh, that ain't good. Oh, okay. One of two things is going to start happening. One, I'm going to cry. Two, we're going to have to fight off against blue. Ooh, hold on a sec, hold on a sec. Blue backed off. Weird. Why did he back off? It's actually, it's very strange. He shouldn't have really backed off. He could have actually taken out my units. Unless he knows I have a higher tier of units than he does. That and maybe if there's another faction. Which is also possible. I need to get out of advanced radar quick. So after this power plant, I'm going to go for an advanced radar. Power, metal, everything's going very well. Just production isn't going well, which... Oh, well, that's an issue. We also need more tier 2 production. We need more levelers. Fuck me. Oh my god. This is a nightmare. Okay, we're gonna have to deal with the armies of white. We're gonna have to deal with the armies of blue. I should have let orange get killed by purple. I mean, I should have let purple get killed by orange. But nope. I didn't do that, and that's gonna hurt me. Alright, well, we can rebuild all these T1 mexes, which is good. They're not exactly irreplaceable. Problem is that I'm going to have to devote my time towards defending against all of these potential attackers. And that exactly isn't really helpful, in the least bit. So what I'm going to have to do is get out a ton of doxes. I mean, not a ton of doxes, a ton of fabricators. We're going to need a ton and ton and ton of fabricators. It seems like we could just go down south and crush purple. But, I mean, if we do so, then that opens the door up for blue to attack. Granted, a good leveler punch here and there should be what we need. Okay. White is focusing on yellow right about now. Does my radar see the entirety of white space? Yes, it does. Good. So now I know that he doesn't have that much production. Right about now, we should go ahead and focus on getting up some tier 2. I'm focusing on the southern side of our base right about now. Seems like yellow is currently continuing to fight white. I'm probably going to have to fight against blue and purple. So that means all my rally points should just go down south. With the exception of this one, which will go up north. Ooh, big, big mistake, buddy boy. Yeah, the leveler splash damage is going to eliminate these doxes. Let me go ahead and just build up some anti-air, just in case. Just to be sure that we don't get wrecked by yellow, even though yellow is currently being attacked by white. Okay. With purple's army now destroyed, we can go ahead and hop.
Okay, let the doxes destroy the majority of the bombers. Good stuff, good stuff. Unfortunately, we don't have that many doxes, but he also isn't really protecting his base. Not his base, but his uh, army. No, no. Okay. Change direction. Right now, go back. Go the fuck back. I knew this was going to happen. I knew this little shit would try to attack us. How did I know this? How did I know that he was going to do this? Thank God we have units like Levelers that can actually stop him. Oh my God, this is so annoying sometimes when you have to deal with shit like this. Again, facing off against two massive armies at the same time isn't exactly what I call fun. But you know what? It's something that you have to do in Planetary Annihilation. And back off my commander a little bit. We can still win this because the leveler splash, remember that. He's trying to space out his units, but we've reached a critical mass of levelers to the point where he really can't touch us. Can't touch us. Da na 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 can't touch us. Da na na Like he's trying to micro, and I give him credit that you know he's trying, but it's not gonna work. And some of the doxes are going to naturally float through my borders and, you know, become a nuisance. So now I have to punish Blue. That's okay, though. I live to punish. I will spank the crap out of Blue. So he knows what he did was wrong. Now, our point of contention is probably that I need more Tier 2. Okay, so what I'm going to start doing is probably to build a bunch of catapults and defend my borders with them. And there we go. There's the catapults. And afterwards, we'll have these dudes go ahead and continue my tier 2 production. I'm sorry, Senpai. Senpai's angry. No, no forgiveness. Hmm, actually wait, maybe I could just leave him alone and then let myself just focus on purple. Problem is that like he could just attack me again, which is a problem. And right now I gotta use this opportunity to finish off blue, who is an actual threat, whereas purple is just like a nuisance. He's that little kid in the playground who always tries to stick the middle finger up at you. And you're always telling the, the parents, hey, your kid's sticking the middle finger up at me. But they don't listen. Because, I don't know. They're parents. Walls are annoying, but we are cleaving through his units. This should all be ogres soon. Right now, the power of the levelers should never be underestimated. Like, these guys will claw their way through armies. Okay, dudes, can you help him out? Thank you. Meadow is always fluctuating, though, because we're producing so much shit. Yeah, at this point, he's building up catapults. That's okay. okay. I'm also building up a ton of catapults, so if white ever becomes a problem, we have contingency plan for that. Let me go ahead and take my levelers out of this group. Oh, I don't want the levelers to die. Wait, hold on a sec. Phew! Okay. I'm safe. Now it's time to focus on white. 
from what I can tell, this is the entirety of white space. Uh, radar t gives me about enough vision to cover this area, so if this is the entirety of white space and this is a pretty small base, not a lot of tier 2 going on, yeah, we could probably crush them. Send in the armies. And we could probably just stop our catapult production for now and continue our tier 2 mechs production. Okay, power is going down, energy is going down, metal is going down. That's okay. Because we could just rebuild it. In fact, let me go ahead and have these guys go on energy plant production. Ooh, that ain't good. Yep, that ain't good at all. I just walked them into there. Into their deaths. That's a lot of catapults. Holy moly. Yep, there's just way too many levels for them to deal with. Way too many. You reach a point where you get a critical mass of something and just nothing can stop it. At all. You just steamroll everything inside. The only way for White to actually save his base would probably be to get a nuke, but... Other than that, that's really about it. We played it smart. We played this game smart. And no SXX in sight. Thank God for that. Oh, Commander, how are you today? I'm going to poke you in the butt. Okay, now to get out an anti-nuke, and that should solidify our defenses. Even though I really don't need to get out an anti-nuke. Alright, he's gonna try and attack us. Let me just get all my fabricators in here. Okay, he's sending in bombers, but we have enough doxes to take out most of them. Also, levelers aren't exactly the easiest things to kill, even with bombers, so... Kind of a little bit of a useless strat for you to get out a lot of bombers to try and kill a bunch of levelers. I mean, right now, bombers have really taken a massive backseat. And they used to be super OP. Then again, T1 naval used to be super OP. I've heard T2 naval is now really god tier, though. Good luck finding a map with actual water. Nobody seems to want to play those. For good reason, because naval is a little bit slow. Hmm, we could have actually done this attack a lot better, but you know what? I'm a little bit slow. Okay, we have an anti nuke. We're safe. We're safe from any attack. And if we do notice him getting out orbitals, then we can just go ahead and quickly set up an umbrella. We don't have a lot of doxes anymore, so we don't have the super AA that we used to. But you know what? I think that doesn't matter at this point. Friend, would you like to give me a hug? I would like to give you a hug. Give me a hug. Give me a hug. Nice prioritizing the levelers over the ants, but no. It's all ogre now. Oh god. Okie dokie. That was pretty hard. Uh, in, in the later stages when I had to essentially deal with blue and purple. But you know what? Everything's a-okay in the universe. My name is Astro Rolfus. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys next time.